So you were always into working out? Because you're yeah, a big yeah. guy now. You're yeah, big... I was always into working out in juvenile hall and shit. Okay. I was always working out the juvenile hall and shit. So I was, I was off the bat. But my like my first 30 days in reception, we had a riot, though. Mm. So we had a riot my first day, my first 30 days in reception. So that I went to the hole. I went to the hole for like, like four months. What caused the riot? Oh, man, you know how it go. You know what I'm talking the about? The race thing? Oh, man, you know. This prison politics. And you, you know what I'm fully about? got down? Hell yeah, off the back. <laughs> you better not prone out. You prone out. We 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 can't wait to unlock to get you. Mm. You better not prone out. But so did you have the experience that when you get to prison, your gang matters less and it's all about the race at that point? Well, no, your gang matter in there too. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's cars in there. You know what I'm saying? I'm from neighborhood crib. Right. Where I saw rolling 30s to the hundreds to the east coast to the main streets. So off the back, your hood matters in there too. You know what I'm talking about? You want. As wherever you from, who you run with. You know, if you're a blood, you run with the bloods. If you're a crip, you run with the crips. You get what I'm saying? So off the back, you know what I'm talking about? We break it down to sections. But off the back, your, your gang in there, it matter too. But your race always do matter. Right. You get what I'm saying? If you black, you run with the blacks. Because you're know probably saying? with people in there that you would never f with on the streets, right? No, uh, no, it just, it's not, it's not like that. It's a respect thing. It's okay. prison. We all grown men in here. We all know where each other from. You know what I'm talking about? It's a respect thing. You know what I'm saying? You're going to give me my respect just like I'm going to give you your respect. You know what I'm saying? And if one of us disrespect each other, you know what time it is on first unlock. I'm coming out with my knife or you coming out with your knife. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? One thing about that and being inside the system, respect goes a long way in here. Your word and your respect goes a long way. Right. That's all you got in here. Respect and your word. Right. And that goes a long way in here. So when you get in there, do you start feeling pretty quickly like you could do well in this environment and that you're going to have a lot of respect and you're going to be sort of, I don't know if you want to say like one of the higher ups, but somebody who has a bunch of control. No, no, I off the back. I learned how that quick. Mm. I learned how that quick. So when I learned how that quick in here, I'm off the back. I'm a smart, I pay attention to everything. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? I learned that as a kid though from my dad. Pay attention. Observe what's around you. You get what I'm saying? So I learned as that quick. You know what I'm saying? So as I grow in there, I'm sharpening my mind. You get what I'm saying? You don't want to be a follower. You want to be a leader. Everybody want to be a leader. No matter who you are. In life, everybody want to be a leader. You know what I'm saying? But that's up to you how you carry yourself. Mm -hmm. You just don't get a, you just don't be a leader overnight. You know what I'm talking about? You don't, you don't get to tell people what to do overnight. You know what I'm talking about? Wake up. You know, you know, you know a lot of people talking about, oh, I run my hood. I run my section. That's out. This is not the internet, buddy. <laughs> this ain't the fucking Instagram. You know what I'm talking about? Where you get the lie at. Shut the fuck up and sit back. So what, you think the people out there get a weird idea about gangbanging because the people who talk the most shit and are on the internet the most are the ones who get all the attention? Well, uh, I don't think they get a, a weird perspective out of it. You get what I'm saying? Because you got real ones around, but some of them get the wrong concept out of it. You get what I'm saying? And some people don't send the real message out there. You know what I'm talking about? Just because you're in a gang don't mean you bad. You know what I'm saying? Just because you gang affiliated don't mean, you know what I'm talking about, you're a terrorist. No, it ain't like that. You mm. know what I'm saying? People, some people judge the book by its cover. As soon as you see me, like, damn, look at him. He big as a motherfucker with braids. He a terrorist. He might knock me out. Come over here. No, it ain't like that. You know what I'm saying? When you get to know me, you're like, damn, he a good dude. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Look at us. We up in this motherfucker laughing. You know what I'm saying? It's the point how you carry yourself in life and how you perceive yourself and shoot yourself out to other people. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes when I'm around like real gangster ass rappers, at a certain point, I'll realize that out of the whole entourage, there's like a couple guys who don't really talk to anybody and they're just kind of in the corner. And I start to realize like, <laughs> okay, those are the gangster ass dudes because they don't even want to be on camera. They're just strictly here to do something if it goes down. Man, this man, look, you understand? I never had an Instagram. Mm -hmm. This is my first time having an Instagram since I've been out. Really? That wasn't my thing. Instagram, and you ask any motherfucking body, they're going to be like, Instagram was never his thing. This is new to him. Mm -hmm. That wasn't my thing. You get what I'm saying? How how other people carry themselves, is, that's all. That's how you do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it's my, my first, like, I never had an Instagram like that. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people who come from your background that just look at Instagram or social media in general as being just some, some clown shit, and it's only going to yeah, cause you no, problems, no, right? No, no, look. I don't look at it as no idiot, no clown shit, you get what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, the new youth use it to make their money. Right, yeah. And, and that's good for them. That's good. You know what I'm talking about? Because it's different ways to get money out here for the youngsters. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Instead of selling dope, you get what I'm saying? Or sitting on the corner or going to rob and steal. You get what I'm saying? They're using their talent and their platform on these internets. So that's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. So I don't look at it as like a bad thing or nothing like that. You get what I'm saying? It's just some <clears throat> people don't use the internet like... 
You got some motherfuckers get on there and talk about shit they don't supposed to talk about. Mm. He know he don't supposed to talk about it, but he's still doing. You it's get like what I'm saying? It's like an epidemic in LA. Yep. I hear about it all the time. So And it's not just kids. You're right. A lot of old heads. You're right. Using you're right. the internet in weird ways. Yeah, and real you're right about that. <laughs> it's not but, for me to judge, but I hear about it, yeah. But see, that's the point though. You got people, you still got real ones around. You got mm. real ones around like me that'll come out and I'm getting on you off the bat. I keep my foot on every nigga neck. Off the back. I don't let no air for no buster. None at all. I don't give no buster no ear. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? I'm at all. I'm not giving you no ear, no space, no way to breathe. I'm so, on your ass. So if somebody comments on your Instagram and they say, four extra is a bitch, four extra ain't about shit. I'm not going to pay attention to you, him. You, what, because if, you block him or you just ignore I, him? No, fuck, why would I block him? Okay. Why would I block him? He's one of my fans. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Grab some cheerleaders, some pom-poms, go shake your ass in the motherfucking crowd and cheer for me. He's one of the first guys that's going to watch one of your interviews. Or, or, Off the back. Yeah. Like, look at him. You know what I'm saying? Cheer. You know, cheer like the rest of them. Uh -huh. One thing I learned in my life, if you ain't got no haters, you ain't doing something. This is a fact. You know what I'm saying? This is a true fact right here. You know what I'm saying? So once you get on there and say something, you know what I'm saying? Good looking. You looked at it? You made it go up? All right, good looking. Go, go. Now go back there with your cheerleaders, bitch. Now go way in the back. There's some extra pawns back there. <laughs> right. Okay, so that that six, seven years that you do there, what what is that actually like? What's the craziest shit that happened during that time period? Oh, shit, shit. When I first got there, I see somebody die. Right in front of you? Yeah, right in front of me. That, that shit ain't nothing new in prison. That's, From what, that, like a stabbing? That, yeah, off the back. In prison, you're going to see death all day. Really? It's death all day in prison. It ain't no such thing as not death, especially on level four. Yeah. On them level fours, the 180s, you get what I'm saying? It's death all day. But it's a lot of guys who are in there for like 20, 30 years. Aren't they like more chilled out because they don't really yeah, have a reason they, to be crazy? They, they chilled out, but it's it's politics. You know, you know, it's chilled out. You kick back and relax. Right. You get what I'm saying? But you still have to be on your nose. You still have to understand this is prison. Mm. This is not home. You know what I'm saying? This is not your home. Some homies that's lifers call it their home, and some homies that's lifer don't call it their home. Right. You get what I'm saying? Like I said, different stroke for different folks. But you remember, this is in prison. No matter if you're on a one, two, three, or a four, remember it can get dangerous any minute. And if you don't think it, we'll wake your game up quick. Mm. So what, what's the wildest shit that happened while you were in there? Was, uh, you, or you saw you saw a death right away? Like, you're, you're really telling me it was that common? You would just see the shit? Man, I was on the yard. I say, boom. Two, three days on the yard, boom, it was a death. Get down. Mm. You know, they stream on the, get down, they hit the buzzer. Everybody lay down, prone out on the yard. Mm -hmm. Boom. Medical come on the yard, they're over there pumping on his chest. I didn't even see it happen. I'm like, damn. He's over there, he flatlined, though, it's over. 